Karen, honestly, I don't, I don't want Gail, to have a match. just stop. Stop. Mickey James has a match tonight. So what? So you have to have a match. There's all these accusations going on that I'm giving you special treatment, that I'm not fair. Fine. I have to show everyone that I am fair. Okay. So you have to have this match. <laughs> but Tracy, there's one problem. I'm not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I got you covered. I know. So, here's the drill, Trace. You're gonna walk down the ramp. You're gonna climb in the ring. The bell's gonna go up. Ding, ding, ding. You're gonna lay down on your back, which I know you'll have no, no problem doing. One, two, three. You got that? Got it. Fine. And if there is any funny business out there, you little girl are gonna have to deal with the wrath of Karen Jarrett. You got that? I am not playing with you! The following knockout contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from St. Mary's, Ontario, Canada, Tracy Brooks. Well, knockouts vice president Karen Jarrett. She can claim that she's booking this match in an effort not to show favoritism for the knockouts champion Gail Kim, but we know what this is all about. What do you mean? What's it about? Karen instructed her assistant, right. Tracy Brooks, lay down at the opening bell. Well, she's one, a... two, three. Well, come on, Tracy's the assistant. She's got to do what Golf Boss tells her to do. What are you talking about? Uh, but, you know, it's not a, uh... It was the last time Tracy wrestled. Where was it? You know? And her opponent no. from Toronto, Canada, one half of the knockout tag team champions and the knockout champion. Is Tracy might have some ring rust on her. She doesn't look it. Ring rust. Now, this is going to be a quick tune up for the knockouts champ. Sunday final resolution, Gail Kim to defend the singles title. She's also one half of the knockout tag team champions, but the singles knockout title goes on the line against Mickey James. Now, but first tonight, knockouts vice president Karen Jarrett using wow. her power, wow. intimidation against her assistant Tracy Brooks. Go right ahead. Gail Kim's upon her return, since coming back at Impact Wrestling, she has just been a firecracker, huh? a hoop, as they say, right? But they say hoop. Some people say hoop. You do. Uh, it's been on fire, old man. No confidence problems. She's going to just tell Tracy, lay down like you told, lay on your back and you told. Step one, the opening bell. I feel so humiliated, Tracy. Really, that's just sucks for her. That, what? Whoa! Not gonna lay down for Gail Kim, no matter what Karen Jarrett says. Karen's good. Karen Jarrett's gonna be livid over this. You think? Oh my God! Gail Kim getting just lit up right here by Tracy Brooks. This is the frustration. Oh! Brooks having to deal in that subordinate role to Karen Jarrett. No. Not kidding, Michael and Tracy. You just snapped out here. Oh, kid. One, two, two. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine if Gail were to lose a couple of days right before defending her title against Mickey? Said everything in the knockout division. It almost happened. It almost happened. And still may. Comes Tracy. Kind of steaming the knee to the back. Yeah. Oh Rose line God. drops her. Knockout champion totally on the defensive. Watch out! The knockouts vice president, Karen Jarrett, up on the apron with more instructions for Tracy. Oh, no, no, 
can't do that. She's the vice president of the knockouts. No, no, no. Oh, that Madison? That was Madison, like a thief of the night. That confirms it. Using the knockout tag title belt to hit Tracy in the back of the head.